Roar, are you a perfectionist? And if so, how do you let go of your film baby? Um, yeah, I guess I'm a perfectionist, but uh, I'm also just can't wait to show the movie to an audience. So I think that's what <laughs> gets me going through uh, the final steps is uh, just the joy of getting to see it with an audience. And you graduated from film school in 2002 and now you're here, it's 2015, you're up for an Academy Award for a foreign language film, Norwegian? Yeah, we're the Norwegian contender for that, right. yeah. Do you think that you could have gotten to this point without film school? I know you've been making films since eighth grade. Yeah. But do you really feel that film school helped you get here? Yeah, at least it gave me the chance to work with people and to experiment and uh, and um, yeah, it gives you uh, a lot of uh, knowledge and, um, and the chance to work with people, yeah. Right, but it seemed like you were making films before even so much of the technologies yeah. changed now and you'd learned the craft and the eye for it. Yeah. Do, you, do you feel that you still could have developed this without really going to film school? Yeah, some of it probably. Uh, so uh, yeah, I think the best thing about film school is the people you meet and uh, the connections you make, mm -hmm. and um, and that you have all this equipment av available, so you're uh, so you get the chance to try out stuff, and uh, and that's I think what you learn a lot from. When you look at a character, when you break it down, do you? see how much is this character like me, is Eden in the film, and how much am I very dissimilar? Or do you not look at it like I don't think so much about myself, actually, uh, because it's uh, pretty easy. You can find anything. I find anything of me in any human being, more or less. Uh, but um, uh, that was partly a lie, because <laughs> <laughs> of course, as anything, when it comes to acting, it's yes and no. Uh, because it's, uh, I definitely feel which sides of me that are strong in this character. Yeah, I do mm. that. Uh, and uh, I often you feel that quite instantly. Uh, and it's uh, in an intuition. You just, uh, yeah. You just know it. And then it's also fun. I like thinking about it a bit too and sometimes making up a story or sometimes not just shooting from the hip, you know, and starting, yeah. The way you've delved into a character, has it changed over the years or is it pretty much the same? It's changed some uh, because uh, earlier on I was more into making up, I, I did this even more, making up a story. My stories were more detailed uh, when I was, uh, because, because I know that can directly infect my work. But now some, sometimes I, I don't do it that, that thorough anymore, often, because it's, uh, my intuition is strong. And uh, I've, uh, the inner life, I was um, thinking more about the inner life earlier on than I am now. That comes, uh, yeah, just comes. <laughs> but that, uh, what's hard about, uh, what I might find the hardest part is actually having a job when you're an actor, uh, that your my the person I'm portraying has a job, that's difficult because that's physical and it's something that I will need to find out about uh, and learn about because it's not human relations and emotions and uh, yeah, or if there are some very specific um, at farting it, um, very specific things in this person's life that's yeah. changed her or mm -hmm. that has meant a lot to her, then I would need to maybe to do research on that. But just for mm -hmm. more normal people, I'd say it's, uh, yeah, mm -hmm. comes quicker, quicker now. So The Wave is a, a Hollywoodized version for, uh, of, a, of a, a Norwegian disaster film. What is the difference between a Norwegian or a Scandinavian film versus the Hollywood movies, in your opinion? Uh, I would rather say that it's a Norwegianized uh, okay. <laughs> Hollywood movie. Uh, <laughs> that we've taken the disaster genre, but then tried to ground it in a Norwegian reality and to 
also take uh, do what I guess uh, European film is more known for, like having characters uh, that you take your time getting to know and that you go a little bit deeper into the psychology uh, of the characters. And I guess that's what we tried with this movie as well. And to, so that the disaster, when that happens, has as much of an emotional impact as possible. For acting, uh, Norwegian acting in terms of the style, maybe the method, versus what you see in American film or television? What do you see as a difference? Or maybe there's very little difference. I wouldn't know really, but it's always a question of uh, tone and genre, whatever you're doing, and uh, finding the specific tone. And um, I remember one particular event during mm. shooting was, uh, because I, I'm, Ruar really knows this genre and he loves it and he's seen so many films of this genre. He, mm -hmm. he, his heart lives there. And I remember he said to me, oh, now when you're leaving that room, when you made that phone call, just a little smile. Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. that's, how you're, that's how you do it in mm -hmm. this particular universe. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a question of tone. Mm -hmm. uh, and more than Norwegian or American, I think. I don't know, but yeah, I think so. How was the role of Eden offered to you? How did you find out about it? Uh-huh. Um, I went to uh, audition, uh, and then they called me the day after <laughs> and said, do you want it? Which is nice, because often it's like, oh, we know, you know, it's hard, it's made a role. Uh, but not this time. <laughs> no, I think when I saw Anna and Christopher together, um, I really felt that we had found uh, our couple uh, for the movie, and uh, yeah. If you were to be offered a million dollars or the chance to act for free in your favorite American television show, which would you choose? The favorite show or the million? Yeah. Uh, that's a no-brainer. <laughs> American dollars, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I, uh, I, it would be the favorite. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. and which show would that be? Oh my god. It would be one of those. Yeah, well, it would have been uh, Six Feet Under if it still existed, mm. or it would be Homeland, or it would be uh, House of Cards, or it would be, you know, all of those. Mm. All of those. You can, the list goes on. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Why? Yeah. <laughs> Breaking. Yeah. Something different genre. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you very much. I,